the Python on microcontrollers newsletter. Um, Lady Ada, there was one question yeah. that we got in advance, and you can probably <laughs> answer this now. It's in our newsletter a little bit. So newsletter and did an amazing job this week. But there's yeah. one there's one thing going on in the the uh, RP2350 world. There's a pin latching issue. What what does this mean? Because people are a lot of people don't even understand what does this potential issue mean? Like what is what's it like a translation? So for? it it the thing is it's not gonna affect a lot of people, but if you're affected, you're like, hey, I'm affected. No, no. Um so basically there's there's some issue latch up with the pin pad where if you set the if you have a light pull up or so if you have any kind of um pull up sorry it was, it was a pull down um if you if you have latch it, up and pinhole what do those mean yeah so i think there was a, a link to it i'm also a little sick so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna look into a, a, a deep conversation but yeah. the, the effect is um if you have a pull up on a pin and then you remove that pull up like literally like you know remove it and then you try to lightly pull down that pin it will not go it will not like slowly sink to zero as um it should you actually need to put a fairly strong pull down i think it was like a, a 4.7k or smaller resistor to pull down that pin and, and release the internal latch that keeps um that output like the totem pole output um activated I don't know the reason for it, um, but uh, I think like, you know, Raspberry Pi Foundation is looking into it and they'll, they'll maybe okay. give us some hints. But basically it only, it will only affect you if you're look if you're working with something that you have to like mimic an open drain situation, or you're moving between pull-ups, outputs, and inputs kind of quickly. So like one thing when I heard this, I was like, oh, I bet touch screens are affected. If you're talking to a resistive touch screen where you basically had like set one to one pin to be low one pin to be high and then you have an input and you read it and it's got this kind of like resistor ladder and then you release it and maybe do a pull-up you're like playing little games with like the pull-ups and the pull downs um and this resistive object um this resistive touch screen you you'll be affected you might also be affected if you're doing things like um simulating um I squared C, or if you are doing like a bit bang one wire, anything where you're doing like kind of open drainy type things might be affected. You're not going to be affected if you're just using it to drive LEDs or do digital input or output. Even button presses, you're not really going to be affected. Um, and if you think you might be, just use um, whatever pull down you have on your board. Just make sure it's 4.7K. Yeah. Or less. So we'll cover 4.3K. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, a lot of people are poking at this and we'll cover. It is it goes, but basically, if you know, you know. Like I feel like it's one of those things. If you like, know it, you can it, easily work around it. It's it, not a big deal. If this is if this is your jam, you already know about it. So, anyways, I hope that was helpful for folks. Um, and it's a new chip, so it's like nobody's designed any boards with it yet. So, if you were designing with it, it's mostly I think it's good to know because if you design with it and you bump into this issue, yeah. you're like, oh, it's not me. I just have to like pick a different resistor value. And like having worked with chips like you know the Samd fifty one and the esp32 like all chips have issues um the, as long as you know them you can usually work around them this is compared to many other yeah. chips this is not a big deal yeah. okay um so uh check out the newsletter you can see other rp2350 news um because it's new there's a neat um link you can see it decapped and like look at his innards and then check out all of the projects <laughs> and more um Lots of neat stuff going on in the world of Python on hardware. And uh, the newsletter is one of the best places. Join tens of thousands of people who read this every week. It is delivered free to your inbox every single week, spam free. You can get it on GitHub, or you can get it on our blog, or you can get it an email, or you can get it as an RSS feed. However you want to get it, itfordaily.com is your first stop.